I'm Jenna. Hello, I'm Gloria. We We are are Worthy Worthy Wellness. Wellness. Because we are worth it. Our purpose is to introduce women entrepreneurs, products, and services while proceeds help women in need for holistic care and therapy services. Welcome, Welcome, ladies. We have the pleasure to interviewing an incredible woman that wears different hats and multi-talented. She is a singer, songwriter, and a music teacher. Miliana Brown. Yeah. Well, first of all, I just want to say thank you so very much for just allowing me to be a part of Worthy Wellness. I mean, it just, uh, just thank you so much. Let's start off with telling us interesting facts about you. I am a singer who just loves to really use music to help inspire and encourage. And it was, you know, on my musical journey, uh, singing and doing music for, I mean, geez, uh, since I was a child and I got to travel around the world and, you know, internationally, you know, sing around the world. And it's it's been an, an awesome journey to be able to use the gift of music and to allow me to see different sights uh, and views and different perspectives as well. Um, I think what's really cool is I got to also sing alongside, you know, 10-time Grammy Award winner, which I think he is now 11, uh, John Legend. And um, it's just been an absolute amazing journey. I also have an an album out that's been um, just absolute, I mean, geez, it's on all musical platforms. I also have a show out here, which is one of the biggest shows in Hawaii, and it's called uh, The Legends Show as well. And it's just really, really cool to be able to do music. And you, you know, the journey, musical journey that I've been on and put that into song because I'm also a singer and songwriter as well. So oh, yeah. beautiful. I love your music. It just it's really talented and natural and you don't need a whole lot of sound effects and special effects. I mean, I am not by any means a singer. Uh, I <laughs> what are you but, talking about? <laughs> but when I hear you, I feel like you're going to shatter glass because you're just, it's just so beautiful and powerful and it just carries out so far and you can really just feel your spirit within. So that's yeah. also life-changing when I hear your music. Because when I went through some hardship, I listened to your album. Wow. And it really helped me get through some tough times. So I want to thank you for that. Oh, absolutely. I thank you for sharing that. You know, and I've even, you know, the song Hold On on the album is also a song that I created Uh, when I was going through a hard time and I started to share my own thoughts and, you know, just doubts that I had about me and pursuing my dreams and and career and thought, hey, you know, maybe it's over for me to, you know, pursue that. Maybe I'm not enough. And so through me writing that song and then listening back to it, I find that it still also helps me. And I've just seen the the changes that has helped in testimonials in other uh, listeners as the song has has inspired people and encouraged them to find the inner beauty that lives within themselves and finding strength to stand on their own feet and and actively step out their own dreams. Now, when I say actively, because it's easy to think about your dreams, right? Like, oh, I just want to be this. But but taking those actual steps to, to one step, one foot in front of the other, no matter what the circumstances are. So it's really cool to hear you share that. And then also um, also see the different changes that people have experienced um, by listening to, you know, to the music. How wonderful. I love that. Well, well said, for sure. I also wanted to know, Miliana, because you are definitely, you know, in this industry, and there's so many podcasts. How did Worthy Wellness stand out to you? And what message would you like to share with with our audience? Oh, my goodness. Oh, geez, where do I begin? (laughs) (laughs) Where do I begin? You know, if I were to kind of just um, to sum it up, if I were to say it's one thing I just love about Worthy Wellness is the the audience and the collective entrepreneurs here on on Worthy Wellness is that individually it's we all want to talk about and especially in the world today is loving ourselves loving ourselves and not being in love with ourselves but loving ourselves and 
also loving others. And you can't give away something that you don't have. And I think that Worthy Wellness really teaches a lot in how you can do everyday life. And as you were saying, we have estheticians that are discussing that um, and wedding planners. It's so easy for us to be able to, to share that message by doing everyday life about loving others as well. And I think that what is so stands out differently is the genuine intentional it's intentional that everyone here on this podcast really is is so genuinely wanting to be a difference and make a difference by loving yourself and loving others not only in the community their specific communities or whatever trade that they're in but how you can find that genuinely in every trade and and i think it's like the seed that is in every common, the common denominator in all of it all, and that's love and how we can rotate that. And I think not only in the community it's shared, but nationally it's shared. And I think that that's so powerful. What a move. And it, it stems from the person who started it. <laughs> and that. and it, it comes from from the roots of that. So thank you, Jenna, for just making a huge impact and searching out and reaching out and seeking out those who actually are making a difference, not by just saying it, not by just kind of doing it, but having the heart. And that's something that you have to specifically do and weed out and really say, what is the heart behind the purpose of what they're doing? And and I see that. And, and that's it's something else that I always talk about, and that's passion and purpose. And um, I probably say that many of times here today mm-hmm. is just, it's important to to pair the two because you can have uh, a purpose okay i i'm in this trade and i do this or this is what i do but the passion that sits behind it is what really carries it's the engine it's the gasoline that continues to keep that that train moving because it's so easy to you know get distracted or just world you know challenges that we face every day that can slow us down but when you pair that passion and purpose continuously move forward and i think it's all about that forward movement Thank you so much. And thank you for being a part of this Worthy Wellness podcast and this community and the shout out to all the other women that have been interviewed or will be and particularly as well with my partner, Gloria, and myself, you know, being along this journey of helping women in need. And so thank you so much for pointing out our passion because this is such a tearjerker moment. It's just so beautiful. And with that said, you know, music, you know, how can music heal, you know, from your perspective, how, how can you share that? Cause you hear that, but I don't really know how. Yeah. Well, that's a very, I mean, that's such a, that's a very good question. I mean, um, the, the reason that I, that I kind of hesitate is I'm trying to figure out how to keep, there's just so many ways that, that music does help. Um, so I uh, recently did a concert and it was in, uh, Japan and uh, there was a young lady who heard the song "Hold On," and um, and she the the lyrics of the song just really talks about that you're not alone. To pray, 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 and just hold on. And there was a young lady who was just going through a lot, and she uh, was on the verge to actually. Um, ending her life and none of us knew that of course we didn't know that but she had came to the concert and it and her idea was that she was going to actually end her life and then she heard the song hold on she -hmm. came up to us after and she was just crying and crying and um shared with us her story and it was because of the song hold on she realized that she was not alone Mm -hmm. in this world and her problems were uh, something that she could get healed from and that song met her where she was at in life and she Mm -hmm. began to realize that she is not alone and she has many people around us and a lot of times we can have many people around us but still feel as if we're doing life alone and I think this song really encouraged her to know that um, people love her and she is loved and she um till today i you know reach out to her uh, just to make sure we were continuously in communication um uh, but what a healing what a healing power in that and as the lyrics kind of come alive mm-hmm. into your own lives that's what 
music can do. Now, that's just, that's one case. And of course, that is an extreme case. But, um, you know, the power of music, it can boost your mood. Um, Mm -hmm. It enhances attention and focus. Uh, It can also help you recall, you know, very fond memories. Um, Mm -hmm. Song associated with, you know, strong memories can activate the, um, the nucleus accumbens and it, 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 it's so-called the pleasure center of your brain. And so, uh, and that's why relaxing music can also lower the production of cortisol and lowers stress and in return lowers elevated heart rates and blood pressure. So that's also awesome too, right? Yes, it is. I love that you are talking about the the science behind it as an occupational therapist. We kind of, you know, look at the evidence of, well, how does that actually transform and help? So I love that you actually included that. So thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, but it also promotes relaxation and restful mm-hmm. sleep, uh, boosts your motivation and energy. I must say it, tr- it truly does. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure all of you who are listening can also agree to that. It also cultivates a uh, connection and relationship. Um, and I love it, how you pointed out the lyric piece um, because sometimes we're lost for words or say if we're really down in spirit, mm-hmm. the, the lyrics is almost like a voice speaking to, to us when we're looking for that. And so I can see how listening to music is very therapeutic and is a healing form, like you were mentioning with lyrics. Yeah. And, um, you know, by teaching music, I'm sure you probably have seen some transformation in your students, and I would love to hear about that piece as well. Yeah. Um, so just recently, in fact, just yesterday, I was um, transformation. A transformation doesn't always have to be something so big, but we've experienced it in many different ways. But I'll just share um, one that's just because it just happened yesterday, so it's kind of fresh in my mind here. Um, it was a... Um, uh, a, a, a man who, you know, he's kind of, I think he's in his seventies and he came in and he's like, Hey, I really want to, I want to sing this song. And, uh, I just, um, um, and so he came and brought his, his song on. Sometimes you can bring your own song in or just come with no song, just come with the heart to want to sing or, or, you know, uh, learn music. And, um, basically he shared a little bit, uh, of the song in mid section of the song started just crying mm-hmm. and, I looked over and I said, hey, what does this song mean to you? Let's pause it. And um, and he starts to talk about uh, a passing in his family and the brokenness in his family that he has been dealing with for over 50 years. Mm-hmm. And, and the song touches his heart and he has didn't realize he was dealing with this. He didn't realize he was dealing with this um, this this loss and the passing and uh, abandonment that he's felt as well and then in that moment he began to share that and un- and unraveled and unpacked the emotions that he has been dealing with not even knowing and dealing with and um I mean long story short he left and he has never returned for that with that thought again now he's always back he's 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 here he's you know he's always in the studio continuously working on that but he's never came back to that that place in his mind and started to and started to actually deal with the separation and family and starting to reach out to his his family and 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 finding love and realizing why he had been so hard hardened for so long i mean i know that's such a long time to you know it happened in his 20s he's you know 70 now but oh, wow. just to see how that transformation happened and mm-hmm. bring them together just by that healing and now um yeah so it's just amazing to see he just recently this morning was like hey i reached out to my family and i i haven't talked to them in so long and i just want to say thank you this christmas is is going to be the best christmas uh we have plans to um uh, me come over and do a potluck with them and he just really wanted to, you know, thank me for that because um, he didn't realize he was he was holding in bitterness, resentment, unforgiveness, and through a song that uh, started to touch his heart and awaken that spirit. And um, it's just amazing to see that another transformation was a young girl who couldn't speak. 
Um, mm -hmm. So the parents brought her in and said, she always listens to music, but she doesn't speak. So we just want to try something. And I said, oh, yeah, bring her on in. They're like, you know, they, you know, and they want to know all the details. And, and I said, just come bring her in. But in this session, we're just going to have you stand outside, but you can look in, in, in through the window. Mm -hmm. A young girl who just did not, couldn't speak. And um, then I play a couple of her songs and I see her tap her toes and then, you know, kind of dance around. She's about five or six years old. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I dance around with her and she's still very shy, but she, you know, and then I dance a little bit more. She play a different song mm -hmm. and then I turn the song off and start seeing the lyric, the lyric of the song. Mm -hmm. And then she'd still kind of dance around, but it's still shy to do so, right? Mm -hmm. And then eventually I put the song on, sang the lyrics, and she started to hum the chorus of the song. Wow. Yeah, she started to yeah. hum the chorus that of the song. And um, wow, just touches my heart. Um, then she started to pair the chorus with the lyrics and her parents said that that was the first time in years that they've ever heard her say anything in a full wow. song. Yeah. How wonderful. Yeah. That is amazing. It's like a different part of the brain when you're dancing or when you're singing. So it really is a, a therapeutic tool, music. That That's yeah. what I'm starting to hear from you. It's like an emotional release, a mental release, and then it's tapping into a different part of the brain to be able to then carry out. Mm -hmm. Wow. Absolutely. Yeah, because music music does, oh gosh, it all pairs together. It Music does wonders for your health. It does wonders for your brain. It does wonders for you to um, enhance your creativity. It also helps you to connect with others. It boosts your um, your your confidence levels. Um, it you know it's an amazing stress reliever. It helps you to learn teamwork. I mean, and then on top of that, it's also fun, right? So mm -hmm. it's really cool to be able to do to see the transformations inwardly and in return outwardly you see a difference as well. So um, it's just one of those things that um, when you when you get to the details of it and and you think about, what music really does. I mean, it even teaches, you know, patience and discipline in this world that moves so quickly. Mm -hmm. um, we've come to even students um, that come in sometimes have the inability to really stay focused. And focus is, I mean, it, it, to, to stay on task is actually something that we're dealing with more. We'll see that more and more now than ever, uh, you know, especially with devices that, you know, instant gratification but um what we're teaching here is patience discipline um to stay on task and just the different um you know tools that it that we need to to sustain ourselves um so it's just it's an amazing um thing as we continuously unravel what music has the power to do and you know the question was how can music heal and i think it's such a it's such a you know small question so mm -hmm. to speak but wow as you continuously un unravel that and all the layers that make up that word music wow i love the way that you're speaking of that and what inspired you to to do the different areas of music because you said you're a songwriter, you're a singer, and now you're a music instructor. So I would love to hear that journey on how you have evolved as this artist, but also I'm seeing that there's been the how it's evolved within your music uh, as a teacher. And I would just kind of no. How, how did you even start? I mean, you're going to hear audience that are listening to this that are of all ages. And I love how you explain that it's never too late. This this man that you're describing is in his 70s. But then you also have a child who is six um, that's tapping into music. So I would love to hear about your journey personally um, of how you started and, and got to where you are now. Yeah, so I started, geez, um, um, I started when, 
one of the first uh, events that I did, it was a um, it was a competition, actually. It was a competition, and um, it was for um, uh, um, American Idol. And it was really cool to take part of that, but the disciplines that I learned in that, to even overcome the heartache from the, the, this, the emotions of it, we'll just say, emotions of it, the excitement, the sadness, the focus, the hard work, the, you know, just all those different emotions. And then I experienced, um, you know, putting together an album. That's, for me, it was sitting in a time of solitude for, oh, geez, for a long time, just to start creating music and really getting in tap with what my message is. Who am I? The who am I? The who, what, where, when, you know, kind of just that idea of of what music is, you know, for me uh, personally. Mm -hmm. And then um, um, the travel, you know, I traveled around the world, seeing Japan, Southeast Asia, um, um, South Africa, um, you know, Japan, you know, just around the world and seeing the different cultures and how music is in every culture, in different music, mm -hmm. and what is the heart behind that music and studying that. And then... Uh, what was the, the, you know, the moment that really did that huge transformation was when I um, had that experience with a young lady who um, had ended, uh, wanted to, you know, end her, ended her, her life. And um, it's hard for me to even say it every single time. I, I, you know, just to think that that is, you know, some people are dealing with that. And when I saw the power, the power of music, and how, how it has the ability to change, transform, transform and lift hearts. I thought, wow, some people can see it as such an outward experience and kind of, you know, let's just put the music on, but not understanding what it actually does mm -hmm. for us individually. I mean, just as we said earlier, how it builds confidence or it'll uh, change your mood um, or mm -hmm. it can create an ambiance. A lot of times, it's the it's the music in a movie that makes the the scary part scary. <laughs> you know? So when I saw the effects and how and what music can do, the absolute po the power of that, I thought, wow! Imagine that as we to to, to be able to instill that in, you know the next generation or for those who have dreams and want that uh, that seed that they have their gifting to get poured on so that it can grow um, or even children who um, have a heart for music but don't know where to begin um, or for those who just have a dream and I wanted to just take people kind of on the journey that I've been through and without them having to take that route so to speak mm -hmm. but being able to to learn and grow as I continuously pour the knowledge and my own experiences and wisdom and kind of let that seed um, uh, grow and, and nourish the gifts that they already have and kind of just enhancing that and lifting that out of them. So, yeah. Wow, that sounds incredible. And with the whole songwriting, when you write these lyrics, if you know there's other songwriters out there um, that need some pointers, I would imagine there's some kind of method to to get you going with putting the pen to the paper and really coming out to life and singing it. So how how would you describe that process of beginning to do? Oh, that's a really good question. Um, I think I think. So I would go, so my start in answering this question is I would go back to um, passion and purpose. And I think um, first we'll start off is 
because okay so when you're writing you can get lost in the sauce sometimes and mm -hmm. we can say well hold on that for later i'll do that or circumstances will come and oh, i know that emotion but i don't want to deal with it so i'm not going to write it down i just, just kind of want to forget about it i want to just kind of do life and then you kind of just get into the whirlwind of life and you kind of just move wherever the wind blows you right mm -hmm. what is important anytime you're doing any type of um, entrepreneur uh, business skill is to have a routine you have to have a routine and for me i would totally suggest and, and and really say, hey, you got to have a routine. And I found that to be um, very, very important. Um, just like you have to show up from like, a, you know, entrepreneur, you set your own schedule a lot of times and you have to show up. So you have to show up for yourself and, and understanding what that means is for some, it's to have your one, two and three. And what I what I do is um, is have my time to either, you know, just read I read the Bible. That's what I do. But for you, maybe it's just to read a book or something that inspires you, meditate. And then after that, I, I'll, I'll, I'll pray and I'll have some time where I can kind of just get my, my morning started. Uh, it's the physical, spiritual, mental perspective and spending that a lot of time, but whether it may be, you know, if it's 30 minutes or an hour, but blocking and protecting that time for yourself to get your routine going and then get into the work of things and then getting into um the details of writing out oh i need to send these emails out i need to do this and stuff like that so for me it's to be consistent and really um having that one two and three and saying hey right now i'm gonna protect this time and i'm going to write down exactly what I'm feeling and the story behind it. Because as I was saying earlier, anytime you're doing something like this and it's creative, it's easy to it, for it to kind of be done or put aside and set aside for tomorrow. I'm sure those listeners here would say, you know, it's easy to do that, especially when circumstances happen, everyday life happens. And sometimes those situations may seem like they need a lot more attention uh, than others. So it's important to really protect that. And, and so writing it down, locking it in, saying, hey, this is my writing time. I'm going to write it all down. I don't have anything to write down right now. I don't have any thoughts uh, to write down. It's sitting there for that hour and say, hey, I'm going to write something down. I'm just going to stay here for an hour. And so put, pairing that in with your routine, with your own routine. So if that's that's um, spiritual, you know, maybe even going for a walk or if going for a run, your physical, spiritual uh, reading the Bible, a uh, mental writing it all down, and really having that all paired together is so important, so that uh, it it gets done because it's so Im important to lock that in. And I protect love that time. I love that because I've been going through. Um, how am I going to manage my schedule with the multiple businesses I do? So I'm even taking some pointers here. I'm I'm taking some no. I need to lock my time down and start with myself, like you said, the self love or you know yeah. that that preparation prior to transitioning into the work. So I I love how you pointed that out, and it's it's not just one element. It, it's multiple, like you said, your yeah. your physical health, your mental health, and you just really put it in a nutshell for us. So thank you for that. Um, yeah. So for these these music lessons, how do people book in a lesson with you? Yes, um, I would love to hear from all of you, <laughs> uh, but you can go to www.melianabrown.com. And when you go onto that website, uh, there'll be options. Um, so if you wanted to listen to the music, you can listen to the music and the albums that we've been talking about. Um, you can also click in for lessons and we can do, if you chime in and say that uh, you've heard from us here from Worthy Wellness, um, you will get a free consultation. So please come and just check us out. Check us out. Um, and, you know, for all, all ages and all inspirations and uh, if you have a dream or just want to sing, whatever might it be, come on and check us out. www.melianabrown.com and say you heard from us by Worthy Wellness and we'd love to hear from you. I love that. And I'm just going to spell it out because we have international listeners. Oh, yes. So Meliana is M-E-L-E-A-N-A -E -A -A and Brown, B-R-O-W-N. Correct. So thank you. 
Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Miliana Brown. It has been a pleasure to interview you. I love the many colors and beauty that you have to offer inside and out. You're such a beautiful soul. And I really learned a lot from you today, every day, couldn't we? So thank you to the audience for listening. And I hope you get to book in a lesson. You get that free consultation, like she said, for her gratitude offering by listening to this podcast today. Once again, thank you so much, Worthy Wellness, for just having me and uh, for allowing me to be a part of the team. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you. Have a blessed day, everyone. If you're also a woman entrepreneur to support our cause and would like to be considered on this podcast, please reach out to us. We would love to connect. We see you. We want to connect, empower, and inspire others. So please call or text or even fax 949-793-8781 or our Instagram is Worthy Wellness Inc. Like I-N-C. Hope to hear from you. And thank you for listening.